In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, one God. So today, the fourth Sunday of Lent, we always commemorate uh, St. John of Sinai, called St. John of the Ladder, based on the book that he wrote, The Ladder of Divine Ascent. And he divides the monastic life into 30 steps, as he calls them, uh, analogizing to a ladder rising up to heaven. Um, And some of these steps are longer, and some of them are shorter. Uh, but they're written for monks. Uh, part of it is a travel log of some of the things that he encountered in the Egyptian uh, monasteries of his time. Uh, and he died in the year 606. So this was when uh, the first flowering of Egyptian monasticism. So I thought in his honor we'd read just a couple of things from uh, the latter. And this comes from step one. Um He's talking here about monks. Those who enter this contest, that's the monastic life, must renounce all things, despise all things, deride all things, shake off all things that they may lay lay a firm foundation. A good foundation of three layers and three pillars is innocence, fasting, and temperance. Let all babes in Christ begin with these virtues, taking as their model natural babes, For you never find in them anything sly or deceitful. They have no insatiate appetite, no insatiable stomach, no body on fire or raging like a beast. But perhaps as they grow, in proportion as they take more food, their natural passions also increase. So here, St. John is recalling for us Christ's own teaching. Unless you become as babes, as little children, you cannot see the kingdom of heaven. And so he's telling people all these mis- things in this world that we ordinarily hitch our wagons to, we have to let go of all that stuff and become like little babes. Okay? I'm not sure how much experience John had if he doesn't think young babies have insatiable appetites, but that's what he thought. Uh, but you can see where, where he's going. If you're going to try to be a monk, you've got to let go of everything in the world, which is why m- monks... Go someplace outside of the world. They, even if they're in a city, they're within a cloister of some kind so that they're not caught up in all the ordinary activity of life. But remember, this book is written for monks and not for us. But he does have one thing to uh, tell us. This is also from step one. Some people living carelessly in the world have asked me, We have wives and are beset with social cares. How can we lead the solitary life? So this is all of us. We're beset with spouses. We have all these things we have to do for our social lives, our kids, our schools, our works. Okay. I replied to them, do all the good you can. Do all the good you can. Do not speak evil of anyone. Do not steal from anyone. Do not lie to anyone. Do not be arrogant towards anyone. Do not hate anyone. Do not be absent from the divine services. Be compassionate to the needy. Do not offend anyone. Do not not wreck another man's domestic happiness. And be content with what your own wives can give you. If you behave this way, you will be not far from the kingdom of heaven. And even though that's one short little paragraph, that's really a lot of hard things to do. Don't be arrogant. Don't destroy someone else's happiness, whether by, oh, you know, you don't know what you're doing, you know, you're not raising your kids right, or, you know, all the different things that we lay on other people, all the grief that we just give people just because we're out here. He says, don't do all those things, and you'll be not far from the kingdom of heaven. And, you know, this message is not a different message. This message is fully in line with what Christ told us over and over again, um, you know, don't be uh, caught up with this world. You know, when you pray, go into your room and shut the door. Okay, don't be like the Pharisees and stand on the street corners. That's the same thing that Saint John is telling us here. So Christ also, this kind of refers back to that first passage I read. You know, we must be gentle as doves, but wise as serpents. You know, if you are totally gentle and open. The world will crush you because that's the way the world works. 
which is why Christ told us we also have to be wives of serpents. We can't just lay our hearts out here for the world to come step on because the world is full of angry elephants and they'll step on anything in their paths. And you don't want to lay your heart for you know the un- uncouth in this world to come trample down. Be wise as a serpent. You have to take your heart and put it in your room and close the door because that's where your father in secret knows what you're doing. And all the things that we try to hide from other people, that also gets lodged there, and your father in secret knows those things too. And so we can't hide those things really. We only pretend that we can. So that's what we are called to do by Christ and by St. John here on his own uh, special day. So keep all those things in mind. Don't lay your heart out for the world to trample on, but don't be arrogant. Don't talk bad about people. Don't try to destroy someone else's happiness. If you do those things, you'll be close to the kingdom of heaven. And that's a good thing. The prayers of our Holy Fathers, Lord Jesus Christ our God, have mercy upon us and save us. Amen.